Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts and to the Imperial Austrian Campaign, where we have now unlocked steam turbines. This means that we can now look at a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a refit. Although I am aware there is a bit of an issue with steam turbines, I have fixed it somewhat in Dip version three, but I don't actually remember if I fixed it in Dip version two. I don't think I did. So steam turbines, uh, I'm aware do not give you the weight back that they should, and that's to do with the changes the developers made to fuel. Uh, so yeah, in dip version 3, I've gone through and I've changed all of that, but um, I've not done it for version 2, because uh, it's it's actually one of the big advantages of dip version 3. When, he, when you get to, when you guys get, get to it, uh, one of the big advantages for me is it's very quick and easy to do, to, like just make a little change Test it, change this, change that, test it. It's it's much easier than um, it is when you're having to repackage it into a resource file, which is very irritating. Right, I'm going to try increasing tensions with Italy um, because their army logistics is in the toilet. So we're going to increase, going to start increasing tension and try and force a war with Italy so that we can basically just walk in and grab all of this uh, that's that's the plan however the other plan is to fix the slightly weird um, multiple versions of things just clean everything up and uh, get a whole bunch of refits done uh, which of course I'm gonna do sans commentary because uh, it's just gonna be me clicking and clicking about and it takes forever to load in and load out all the stuff so uh, I'm going to mute myself I'm going to go do all those refits and then uh, I'll see you back on the map I guess
All right, welcome back. Uh, all the refits have been completed. I don't think there was too much to say. Um, turbines seem to only really be useful for very high speed applications, which is about right um, that you want it to be, but they're, they're not quite right. Uh, it will be fixed in dip version three. Uh, it's, it's the fuel uh, costs that because the developers upped the base price of fuel quite a lot, uh, the actually vanilla, <laughs> I, haven't I haven't changed the fuel uh, buffs uh, or malices uh, on any of the engines before, but now I have gone in and fiddled with them, but that will have to wait for a future campaign to see that, uh, because uh, against Italy, our relations are now at minus 40. I want to get it lower. Uh, they have very little in the way of a fleet. I think we can really steal a march, um, get going on attacking them. Uh, as well, we seem to be pushing on Libya, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, but uh, that is all aside. With our fleet updated, um, we obviously need some new vessels. And the new vessel that we need is, of course... A Dreadnought. Now, we do have the small Dreadnought, which is very cool. We also have the uh, Experiment... Oh, did we already build the Experimental Armor Cruiser? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. So we also have a Cruiser to build. Uh, there's new light cruisers we can build, including, yeah, this one, which is quite nice. Uh, quite like well, like, yeah, I really like this hole, so we want to get building on that quickly. Um, we also have the large torpedo boats, which I'm not a huge fan of, actually. Wait until we get some proper destroyers. But we definitely need to start on Dreadnought 1. I think 22,000 tons sounds about right to me. And this is going to be the... The Contemptor. Which I have almost certainly spelled wrong because it's the Contemptor, not the Contemptor. There we go. Um, so yes, we're gonna we're gonna start with a dreadnought. And hmm, how are we gonna approach this? 12, 12, 11, Let's go with the reinforcement. Forced main tower two, which can also fit a funnel, and yeah, that one. So you can have a pretty compact superstructure, which is always helpful to have. I actually don't know if we can mount four centerline guns yet, though. No, we can't. So that's going to have to wait. Okay, okay. We need to we need to get on that. Because uh, yeah, all of our ships so far have only had two centerline turrets. Um, I mean, we could go with three, but we don't have triples yet, so it is actually worth picking up that tick. Um, God, this takes forever. Jesus. Every time I do it, I think, oh, it's not too long, but it, it's fucking forever. It's like three or four times too long. Um, yeah, in that case, we should probably focus on getting some cruisers on the go. Because um, I don't know how long that research is going to take. Do, do, do. Where is it? Gun layout. 16 months, six months. Okay, that's more like it. Well, let's design some new armored cruisers then. Yes, yeah, so let's get some new armored cruisers on the go. Experimental armored cruisers. This is pretty large. Let's go for 10,000 tons. 
uh, 20 knots, a little bit faster. Um, than some of our other ships. Uh, we shouldn't need a lot in the way of funnelage. Maybe go with three. And then main guns. I mean, we have had remarkable success with the the ten inch guns on the ambitions. So why wouldn't we continue that trend and slap on an entirely not oversized <laughs> eleven inch gun on each side? That's totally reasonable. Um, Some um, casemates. I, I kind of lo love the elevated... <laughs> elevated gun gang, gangplank type of deal that's going on here. Torpedo launches. Right. Uh, it's probably going to be... Oh, no, it is slightly lighter on a turbine. Interesting. Some hulls are, some hull, some aren't. Um, basically, if you're pushing the, if you're pushing the engine already, it's usually a bit better. Okay, those funnels are not cutting it. Oh, bugger! Didn't mean to do that. Uh, can we get two of those instead? Yes, we can. They interfere with the turrets. What about just putting... One student... I want two funnels, damn it. Fine, we'll lose those. Uh... Probably about three. Oh. Stand ratio. Let's go back. I think base fuse is fine now. We've got cordite. Cordite one is very very powerful. Um, obviously, it comes with some safety concerns, but not massively compared to like white powder and stuff, um, which we can't even use anymore. So I basically, have a choice between ballastite and cordite, and cordite is slightly safer and. It's slightly better, in my opinion. Uh, right. Our quality is 75%. Uh, what, are, what are they likely to come in with? Maybe a 6-inch gun? Something like that. So we definitely want protection against that. Although they can only do like 4-inch... Pen, so let's go four of superstructure four. Uh, main deck 1.5 and extended of 0.2 because we don't really need a lot of that. Uh, we want probably 12 inch on the turret with two on the top, 12 on the barbette. And then uh, let's just go 1.5 uh, point two on those. Um, and then I want to up the main belt oh, as much as I can. Six would be acceptable, but. Yeah, we are overweight. I'm trying to carry those gigantic <laughs> eleven inch guns. Uh let's try many bulkheads. Many bulkheads and six point eight inch on the main belt. So this is more designed to go up against in terms of its armor, smaller ships 
and then just has these massive threatening big guns which it's not normally how i design ships but it seems to be what the austro-hungarians love uh i'm gonna go come up with an appropriate name and uh then i'll uh figure out how many of these things i can build okay decided to call them the aggressor class because i thought that was appropriate uh we also have two name ships the alfarius and the dark spear if those are your ships welcome to the fleet or welcome in 14 months um my problem mostly is that we're going to be taxing the shipyard capacity quite a lot because i want to get some light cruisers on the go as well um so building the dreadnoughts is going to be tricky so i might actually just take this uh, I'll leave this on for like one month so that I can time this finishing with the aggressors finishing so that we we are not overstretching the shipyards basically um I also want to get a light cruiser of some sort on the go uh, and I want it to be the light cruiser three because I think they're a really nice ship I like them to go 30 knots. Uh, to achieve that, we're going to go minus 5 on the beam so that we're not hitting the penalties. And we're going to go turbines because this is going to be a high speed ship. Wow, I get one tower. Amazing. Plop it there. And a rear tower. A smaller rear tower. That, that works a bit better for me. And then... Yeah, two funnels should be enough. Okay. Yes. And this is going to be... This is going to be the... Endurance class. Um... Because this is basically a scout cruiser that I'm building here. Now, I could go sevens. What do our current cruisers have? Six. Five, six. Uh, it does follow a trend, doesn't it? Fives, sixes, sevens. Um, can I? I can. Thank you to Tweaks and Fixes for making Barbets freely placeable. Uh, I can't put that gun on that size of barbette, though, can I? I can put it on the square one, though. Boom. Uh, that gives us a fair bit of forward firepower. And then... Could have three guns on the back. Again, a lot of firepower that I'm putting down on this ship. Underwater tubes? Oh. I was thinking about maybe putting in um, a deck torp launcher here, but I can just use the underwaters and tuck that in have it well, the only downside with a freely placeable barbet is uh, sometimes you uh, click in the wrong place yes that that's looking that's looking tiny that is uh, maybe some secondary guns Three inch. Just to uh, give it a little bit. That is. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. I do love a light cruiser, and this thing is. Uh, thing is certainly looking 
promising. Uh, also, I'm going to about to throw a bunch of stuff on it. And we don't have any armor at all. So, sadly, I don't think this is going to be viable. What could be... What could be, if only we had the technology. <laughs> yeah, because if I want to put 7-inch guns on this thing, I'm going to need a lot more armour. So maybe I should downgrade to the 6. It's not going to say that much just now, but uh, it will mean... I'll feel the need to put less armor on it. Um, and I can figure out exactly what I can do. I can maybe lose a gun. Uh, just have uh, two at the back here. Rather than trying to go for five. Right. Uh, we definitely want to be protected against uh, three inch guns. So that means minimum 1.3 on the extended belt. Uh, let's go for 1.5. So you have basic splinter proofing. Uh, decks need barely anything. Main belt, I'd like it to be at least five. You're not getting that, you're getting three. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. Uh, okay. Uh, I can get five on the conning tower. Get some reasonable protection on the turret. But we are 8% overweight. Mostly fuel. Oh, coal is so heavy. Um, hmm. Engines are pretty heavy too. I might need to slow down. Yeah, that actually saves a whole bunch. Uh, widen the beam then. Because that didn't give me back as much as I thought it would. Although, if we go minimum beam, I can just up the displacement, right? Yeah, there we go. three-inch gun, I think, from doing that, because it doesn't line up here anymore. Uh, now, see, now I have spare displacement. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, yeah, we have to make it 8,000 tons, which is pretty sizable for a light cruiser, or scout cruiser in this case. Well, I guess it's not too bad for a scout cruiser. Um... Well, in that case, I would like to up the range a bit um, so that these can actually generate some missions. But that is a that is a, that that is potentially a very nasty ship. I mean, this is 1906. Uh, Dreadnought is just about ready. But in 1906, the Austro-Hungarians putting a ship like this into the Mediterranean that is fast and... Uh, can I just really not push it? No. That is this fast, this heavily armed. Nasty. Really nasty. Um, yes, I like it. The Endurance. I'm going to save that. And uh, get to the building. Right, I can only fit three into uh, the shipyards just now. 
Uh, but obviously, I don't want to keep 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 going with that. So yeah, I'm going to keep this on for one more turn, then take it off, and I'm going to keep uh, pissing the Italians off. I think. All right, uh, let us prepare the crusade. So yes, uh, we go to war. Well, no, other people are doing war, but we go to war with the Italians just as we conquer southern Algeria. Oh, nice. That connects, uh, well, our, our <laughs> desert holdings. Um, this push on Tripoli is still going on. Um, so, yeah, what we want to do now is we want to hit the Italians immediately. Now, unfortunately, we have to rely on the army to do this, and the army is stupid, so... We're immediately just going to launch a naval invasion of northeast Italy. We're going to pull our uh, battleships up here. Okay, over on. Sorry again. Uh, that should concentrate all of our battleships. Yes, all of our battleships. Now, the armoured cruisers are going to have to do the hard work. They're gonna, all going to go on to sea control. In eight months, we will have the new ships, which is very exciting. Uh, yeah, this is still. I'm going to preemptively increase transport cap um, up to the full slider. Just because I reckon we'll lose some ships to the Italians. Um, but we do have... Yeah, not very much. We're not going to be able to insta-blockade them. But uh, instantly blockading them is not the goal. The goal is taking territory off of the Italians. While that's going on, I'm also going to be trying to keep other nations sweet on us, I think. All right. Uh, well, this is looking promising. Uh, we've got a 100% chance for the naval invasion. Uh, the army is actually pulling out the stops. Um, Italian army logistics at 13, Austrian at 100. Uh, that's very good. But yes, what we want to do is we want to kind of take it out of their hands because four turns is a lot quicker than uh, waiting for the army. We've got any juicy convoy attacks? Oh, yeah, we do. A whole bunch of them. Let's start... We're, well, let's do this one. Um, they've got the Zephyro, a Fulminante 1901 4 3 fit. Wow. And then these Basilicata class light cruisers. Okay. 16 4.2 inch guns. But maybe they're worried about torpedo boats. I can't imagine why you would. <laughs> Stuff your ship full of, um, <laughs> full of uh, secondary guns. It's no possible reason. Anyway, we've got five armed cruisers. I'm assuming a mix or, mix of types. Ambition. And look at that. This is a cardinal with the correct Mark II guns. So thank you very much to Nathan for uh, fixing that issue for me. I hugely appreciate it. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know, uh, the the lack of uh, the or well, the guns not doing what they should do when you had copies of refits and stuff like that was due to the tweaks and fixes uh, interacting with that system in non-optimal fashion and has now been fixed, which is fantastic. Uh, let's go tight. Um. Oh, of course, I can just look at the designs now. I'm so used to what, having to wait. Uh, okay, well, you're not recent enough to get any armor on your turrets, which is a bit of an issue. And boy, are you slow. Okay, what about you? 
They were also too old to have... Or too old at a design. They could have been built relatively recently, but... the design uh, That armor gen file's only been loaded for, like... Ooh, le less than a, less than two years um, in game time, so... It's going to be... Only the latest designs are going to have... What a shot! <laughs> From... That's a ridiculous range of hit for this era. Nine kilometers out. And just smacking them up with a 10 inch shell. The ambitions, once again, proving that the concept does sort of work. They just don't like taking return fire. Solid hit. Poor old Italy. I uh, I am uh, being a little bit mean to them. <laughs> it's just basically like, you're vulnerable. Let's kill you. <laughs> but uh, there is no room for weakness in Ultimate Emerald Dreadnoughts. And if your army logistics are nice and low, then I'm definitely going to take advantage. Because the opportunity to conquer the entirety of uh, the Italian peninsula would be... In, uh, that's just too good of an opportunity to pass up, especially this early in the game where Dreadnought's only just starting to appear. I don't even know if any countries have built them, but um, we've only just really gotten to the point where we can. I'm just being slow with it. Hey! hey! Yes. Hmm. Very good. I'm also doing a lot more early war than, uh, I normally do, especially playing a smaller nation like Austria. Um, but, uh, yeah, screw it. <laughs> no more Project Amigos. I'll, oh, yep, goodbye to the Zafiro. Even takes a torpedo for its trouble. And that. Protected cruiser is just getting torn up. Torpedoed and sunk. And those transports, well, it'll take me a while to chase them down, but uh, not too long. So I'll see you on the post battle results screen. All right, confirmation that uh, we have, in fact, destroyed that Italian convoy. And uh, with that, I'm also going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again soon for some more Crusade. Yes, we're going to take out Italy. Uh, bye for now.